Hey guys, welcome back to another show. I'm your host, Roxy, and I gotta be honest with you, when I put on this wig, I was a little apprehensive because of all the tight curls and how full it is, but now that I did, I'm actually kind of digging it. I'm not lying. Um, this is called Hot Mocha Rooted. Let me get a little closer. You can see all these beautiful highlights, and it's basically a brown with light auburn, and it's got a dark auburn root. So you guys can see that right there which is something I always love because it looks like it's growing right out of your scalp. It also has all this body, but you can always tame down these curls. I don't like to flatten the wigs too much because I've done that in the past and I've, I read all your comments, you guys. Sometimes the wig can look a little dead and I don't want to do that. But if you get cold set, always use your hands for friction um, and just kind of tame down those curls a little bit. I always like to use a detangling spray to kind of make sure that those curls aren't getting too frizzy, but let's see what it looks like just kind of come down. There are some longer pieces right here that I'm not sure about, but let's just see. This is the first time that I'm trying on this wig. I've seen it a lot on mannequins and in its box and out of its box, but I've never actually worn it. So it's got a really nice texture to it. It is synthetic and it does have a lace front and a monofilament part. So let me show you what the lace front looks like. It's pretty seamless, you guys. Yeah, I, it's really nice. It's really thin and it's not itchy or anything like that. Another thing I recommend is if your skin is a little dark like mine, you can always use some of your powder or your foundation. Just put it on the tips of your fingers and kind of tap it right on that lace front. Over time, over throughout the week when you wear it, it will have some buildup and it'll start to look like your skin. Just make sure that you're only washing it about, I would say every other week. You don't want to overwash because that will have a lot of wear and tear on your wigs and you don't want to put too much product because then you'll have to wash or you'll think you have to wash and that will also have more wear and tear on your wigs. But other than that, you guys, I'm really liking this style. I like all the curls. I like the body. It kind of face frames my face, which is another thing that I'm always happy to have because it, you know, it gives you some, makes you look snatched, if you will. Okay, so this next color it's a sandy blonde. You guys see how pretty that is? And this one is a medium honey blonde, light ash blonde, and lightest reddish brown blend with dark roots. Take a look at those dark roots. Really gorgeous. But I did use a little bit of detangling spray to kind of separate those curls. It can tend to look a little shiny, so don't overdo it, you guys. I might have overdone it on this one just a little bit, and there's lots of lights on this, so it might tend to look a little more shiny than in person and when you get it out of the box. But this is the Sandy Blonde Rooted. I'm wearing the Hot Mocha Rooted. So you can definitely see the difference in color. And these are the top selling colors, you guys, so they definitely go quick. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap. You have that lace front, really seamless. You can see right here how thin that actually is. All the fibers are hand tied, and then you have that beautiful monofilament part, which allows you to have that multi-directional parting, different styling techniques. So I wanted to show you something. It's nothing too crazy, but it's just something that I like to do with my wigs that have a monofilament part. So I like to take a little bobby pin and let's just see what we can do. And just kind of lightly put it in there just to give it a different look, you guys. Again, this is all preference. This is just something I'm doing very quickly to show you how fast you can transform this style. But just kind of get it out of your face a little bit since it does have that lace front and that mono part. I like to keep a little bang out. And then just kind of twist it. Oh my gosh, so cute. What do y'all think? Look, you could see a little bit of that, that seamless hairline, which is what you always want in the lace front. But I 
I'm really, really liking this style. The more that I have it on, the more I'm liking it. And I really think this color is super natural, especially on my skin tone. I'm more of an olive tone. I have some red tones in my skin and some yellow tones. So this warmer color really works well with my skin tone. But let's look at the last color. This is another top selling. It's called Bernstein Rooted. And it's a light brown base with subtle light honey blonde and light butterscotch blonde highlights and a dark root. Take a look at that dark root. Really beautiful, you guys. You could still see those highlights kind of running through that dark root a little bit, so it looks so natural when it's blended like that. But again, I just put a little detangling spray in here to separate those curls. You have that monofilament and that lace front but let me know what you guys think. I'm really liking it, so I hope you guys do too. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye guys.